Alright, so here you can see the basic mechanism. This is just a, uh, a plastic mustard jar. At the top of it, I took off the top part of the lid, I put the tubing through the part where the spout was, and then I drilled holes for the electrodes. Other designs I've seen have the electrodes at the top, which means that they're in the air bubble, which reduces their efficiency, so I put them at the bottom. Uh, most of the sealing I did with hot glue, and then I put a hefty layer of um, epoxy over that and spray painted it. The tubing I bent using a lighter, just because I didn't have anything better to bend plastic tubing with. Um, the wires, you know, you can't really solder to a carbon electrode, so I just sort of wrapped them around, and then I soldered the wire itself so that it would sort of stick and crimped it as best I could. It seemed to be making good contact. And then I just connected alligator clips to the train transformer. This can is just sort of here to contain it if it spills and to uh, stand it up basically. And this is just soapy water. You want to put in as soapy of water as you can because you don't want the bubbles to pop before you get to them with lighter give you a better idea of what's going on in this thing, I wired in a light bulb. So you can really see the gas pouring off. Kind of a cool effect with the light bulb while it's on, obviously there's power flowing to it, but when I turn off the transformer, it stays lit just a little bit. Transformer is totally off, and the light is still faintly glowing. I'm thinking that that's because the electrodes still have the hydrogen and the oxygen bubbles on them, so they're differently charged, and since they're in salt water, which is of course an electrolyte, acting as a weak battery.